Hi everybody and welcome back to another video by Pants Society. I'm Sherry and today I want to talk to you about Envolg. Envolg is one of the cross quarter days on the Wheel of the Year calendar. A few weeks ago I talked about solstices and equinoxes. Um, cross quarter days fall in between those. So there are four equinoxes, four solstices, and four cross quarter days. Um, the Envolg uh, falls on February 1st so this is the one that is halfway between the um, winter solstice and the spring equinox so this means that we are halfway there and I'm so excited because I can't wait to get into the garden and plant my seeds which is um, kind of like the perfect time to do this so this is kind of um, a way to remind you that that time is actually coming uh, we celebrate the goddess Brigid um, so you'll notice that this also is associated with the feast of St. Brigid and she is the goddess of fertility. Um, uh, if you do an altar, some of the things you'll see on the altar are like narcissus or daffodils and crocuses because those are the first flowers you usually see during this time of year. So it's that promise that spring is coming and that the ground is waking up. Uh, this is also that season that um, livestock is being bred um for the year and also of course like i mentioned before that we're getting ready to plant all the seeds uh for the year so that um we'll have great harvest uh so they uh back in the day they used to take this time to do rituals and prayers for bridget um so that she would bless them with a bountiful harvest or sorry bountiful crops and bount uh, bountiful herds of livestock um, if you do an altar, this is where you would consider um, putting things on it like Bridget's crosses or purple things, uh, green items, candles, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, Bridget's crosses and also the Bridget dolly that um, you'll see sometimes. Uh, that's usually made of like uh, some kind of grass or corn husks and stuff. Um, this is also that time to think about spring cleaning, which is one of those traditions we've carried on to modern times. Uh, keep in mind that like a long time ago, they didn't do a lot of housekeeping um, daily. So they've been locked in their house all winter long and it's getting kind of rank in there. So as soon as spring starts rolling around, this is where they throw open the doors, they clean everything out. Um, and also they're purifying their house uh, for the rest of the season. Um, things that I typically like to do now in modern times is um, when I'm cleaning during spring cleaning I'll have a, a white vinegar infusion that's infused with um, lavender buds um, and a few drops of love and essential oil to clean my counters and the floors. Um, lavender is naturally astringent and naturally antibiotics or uh, antimicrobial. So it's one of those great things to kill germs, but also it's purifying as well and it smells great. So uh, that's just like a little personal thing I do for myself and I like to suggest it to other people. Uh, another thing that you'll see when you're doing rituals is the um, use of candles and bonfires. Uh, this is for warmth for one. And then the biggest thing being um, the big bonfire to attract the sun and to give the sun more energy so that it hurry up uh, that it'll hurry up and and get here and sprinkle hurry up um, we can do that like if you can't have a big bonfire at your house you can do like a fire in your fireplace or um, in one of those uh, little fire pit things that you can buy the portable ones um, candles work just as well. Um, this is kind of where that tradition of candle mass came from, which is on February 2nd. Uh, also, after, usually typically in the night, um, you would hear a lot of bells and clackers and noise making things, and this was kind of that tradition to chase away the winter so that spring hurry up and came, and also to um, acknowledge that the winter was here and we did do that time of rest. Um, that being said, what are the typical things that you do for um, in bulk if you do celebrate in bulk or if you plan on celebrating it? Let me know what you plan on doing. I'd really love to hear about it. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.